back to Two Fat Drunks, the dumbest show on the internet. Yeah, it's the worst. This show is so bad. I mean, really. If JDB. Uh, whooping. And if you're watching the show, congratulations. You clearly have nothing to do. Hello, all 80 of you. Mm -hmm. Well, it's better than five. Especially our pal. Our pal. Okay, so um, we do this a day after the great Stan, Stan Lee dies. So this episode is going to be about uh, Stan, Stan Lee, the effect he had on industry. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, movies coming out for Thanksgiving. Coming up next! On this show, tonight, you'll be a witness. Tonight. <laughs> Anyway, I think Stanley was actually 95 years old. Yeah. Uh, a giant, not only in the comic industry, obviously, but he became a giant in the film industry because yes, he did. without Stanley characters and stories, arguably there is no Hollywood. Yeah. Or it looks very different. His, <laughs> a much pared down version. His movies, I believe, have made 40 gazillion dollars. dollars. Yeah, I yeah. mean, a literally a giant. Gigantic dozens amount. and Insane. dozens yeah. of billions of dollars. I mean, look, every summer has a Marvel blockbuster since how long? Well, since, since Iron Man. Every fucking year, right, since Iron Man. Now, did he invent yeah. X-Men? I Yes, he did. As a matter of fact, he is. Yeah, he's one of the progenitors of X-Men. Well, so then you yes. have to at least go back to 2000, because that's when X-Men came out. And that was a big hit. Is he, it's hard he to say. he make an appearance in those movies? I don't That's know. a good question. I can't remember. I don't recall that he does. I, I don't. I think that became a thing. I don't even know if he does in Iron Man. I don't think he started doing that till Avengers. Yeah, I don't think he does. I I could be dead wrong. Almost possible. I could be dead wrong. Now I have a question. So uh, the first kind of group of su superhero movies that really hit. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to go too far off. We'll talk about his, you know early life of Stanley, but uh, was you know Superman the motion picture in seventy eight seventy nine. Yes. And then you had the uh, Keaton Batman in eighty five, eighty six. Right. Yeah, almost. That's about right. Mid eighties. Yeah. So those were two giant hits, and then you had some sequels off of them. But then superhero movies kind of died down. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't see too much until and no Marvel, no Marvel. No, but they well. didn't really, they didn't really bother with the differentiation. I mean, they were like, well, it's a superhero movie. Yeah, right? it's. It, they occasionally kind of thought one up. I, I mean, essentially, there were kind of one hits. Like, oh, here's Superman, here's Batman. And like, well, of course, Superman, Batman. Those, those two, were pretty big. Those are the two biggest characters in comic books, arguably. And so you had new. So, but Hollywood didn't quite click. No. And and then they made Blade with mm. Wesley Sykes. Interesting, yeah, because they did do that. And yeah, Blade was a Marvel comic. Now, did he invent Blade? That's a great question, and I, I don't know it. I don't know. I don't think he did. Because Blade was kind of an off brand. I mean, he was Marvel, but it wasn't like. But it is a like, Marvel. Honestly, look, I didn't know what it was till the movie came out. So I didn't, didn't know it was a comic. Did Blade come out before or after X Men? I think it came out before. Before, yeah. I think I me and say, you actually saw yeah, X Men in I, the theater. I think we did. I, I think I think Blade of uh, nineteen nineties, late nineties, late nineties. Yeah, X Men is two thousand. Yeah, I guess. Well, wait a minute. But but Blade preceded X Men by a couple of years, didn't? Mm -hmm. And uh, they both had sequels. I think Blade had two or three Blade sequels. Blade had, did it? Yeah, because they had Blade, Blade had Trinity with, uh, what's his name? Is Triple it, is H, is it? Ryan Reynolds? Reynolds yeah, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, but, uh, but it still wasn't X -Men comic had, book uh, movies, right? Yeah, it wasn't what it be, has become. You know what you're missing? You know what's funny? The Hulk. The Remember they did that on Lee the Hulk? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> that, that's what you do. It one more, just just one more. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I'm gonna puke a little. <laughs> that was rough. And <laughs> what's funny is that preceded Iron Man. They like made, they made two or three all. They did, they? and none of them were in the gun. You had Norton, and you had Banna. And Eric Eric Bale was first, and then Ed Norton. Ed Norton, and then Norton. But then the, did they do a? They didn't do a third independent Hulk film. I don't know. He's just in the event because because when they once they got to the Avengers, Ruffalo took over. There's been no independent. No, there hasn't. There's been no yeah. independent Ruffalo Hulk movie because he's in Ragnarok with. Uh, so yeah, and he's great in that. Um, but those movies were popular. They didn't kick it off. No, it was Iron Man. And I don't know if it was a grand plan around Iron Man or they're like, wow, that's a surprise, John. Yeah. And look at all these other stories. Now, 
I, I don't know. They say there was. I, and I can believe that. They I say of, there was. I can kind of believe it. Because they, they did nail the fuck out of it with the first one. I mean... And Based on how smooth all the yeah. all of them have been decent. And the casting has been incredible. The casting has yeah. been unbelievable. The special effects have only just gotten better in each, every one. I mean, there's a couple of little, uh, there's a couple of misses, but not. Stan Lee's characters saved Hollywood. <sighs> Yeah. There's no one. Just no the way, way that Sorry. that European monsters, the Frankenstein, werewolf, yeah, Dracula, the those Gothic characters monsters. saved Universal. They, Universal was this close to going out of business, uh -huh. kaput, and it was those characters that saved it. This is even bigger because arguably they're not they're saving Hollywood. They they also ended up what creating, because they, creating a movie studio. Because I, mean, I would argue that the last studios. ten years, from like 2008 to 2018, okay. Are the worst ten years of movie history. They're just horrible movies. The Not, only yeah. real movies that stand out, other than Tom Cruise movies, to me, yeah, are Marvel movies. Yeah, I mean, all I mean, of, as far as you wait, you suck away the Marvel movies, the money, the juice, the attention. What, what do you got? Well, you don't. You don't have a lot. You have a whole lot of bad movies. Not very good. Now there's been no. Now, wait, now in we total fairness, in total fairness, we are forgetting one major thing. Oh, give it up. What are we for? Uh, Chris Nolan's Batman. When did that? That came out before Iron Man. That's interesting. Cause yeah, it, it not only came out, but it, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus. But see, again, I think Hollywood viewed that as well. It's Batman. It's it, it its own stood, thing because Batman was was Always had been successful and then fell off and then we're gonna be because people do dig Batman. I mean, Batman stayed. Hey, the Heath Pop Ledger thing was culture. a big deal for a year yeah, and a half, two was. years. The magic, you know, that whole bit. Right. That was a that was a cultural that actually punched through the people who didn't right. give a shit about Batman. No, it's true. And it, Heath Ledger's Joker, love him or hate him, you know, especially after he was murdered by Illuminati witches. But I mean, besides that, you know, with those movies were big, and then he did a trilogy, didn't he? He did three of them because he did like three, yeah. he did uh, the first Batman, Batman, Begins, with Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, Dark Knight and, and then, then whatever the one with Rises. Yeah. Was, yeah. In Avengers three, you have one of the great sci fi movies of all time. You have a, a, an incredibly Empire Strikes Back. Oh yeah, sci fi oh, gonna, adventure. You don't have to convince me. Super tough. It's, yep. it's an amazing movie. It is amazing. Now let me ask you this: Did Stan Lee write that? Did he write the, the basic overall plot line of Thanos and all that? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I, I, I like look look. Uh, I'm when, not when a when fucking Marvel into historian. Comics? Like he's starting the fifties. Oh, fuck yeah. Right? He got he got. I don't in, know if he was writing the fifties, but I think he got started as a. You know, like pretty a, sure he was right there at the genesis of Marvel or comics. Or I don't think there was always a Marvel comics. I think DC was first. Did he invent, they had detect Did he invent Marvel comics? Shit. I'm with, I, do I look like Trivial Fucking Pursuit here? Hey, Jesus Christ. Wait, am I going to win a fucking prize? Is that what's going to happen? You never studied. No, I don't study now. Fuck. I mean, I, I had to fucking figure out that this was Miller. Okay? And then it was because I read it. Because the, the girl at well, the Well, how many characters movie. do you think he used? Spider-Man's his biggest one. Spider-Man's his Spider biggest one. Did he invent Iron Man? I kind of think he did. If he didn't, fucking... I, you know what's going to happen? We're going to get fucking eaten alive. I know, I know. Comic nerds are going to fucking eat I know he did not invent Captain America. That's an old character. Right. No, that... I'm not even going to venture, I guess. Final Four. The Final Four. Oh, my God, four. that's right. The Fantastic Four. Fantas Boy, he have, invented that, right? They have fucked Wait, that he invented X-Men, too, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. But so. they, fucked, they fucked the Fantastic oh, Four, four franchise so bad. But it wasn't the same cats in charge. Well, no, not at all. Not at all. Right? It's like Fox, I think it right? came out before. Right, they, it was like their second. Because the first they fucked the X-Men franchise. Wasn't it Michael Chiklis the thing? Is Michael Chiklis is the thing. <laughs> fucking Captain America is Johnny. Is the human torch. Is he? Yeah, dude. That's Steve Evans. Chris Evans. And he's fucking. He's the human torch, dude. Well, he was the human torch. Captain America and nail both of them. It's really watchable thing. Well, that's the, uh, it's kind of like Ryan Reynolds in Blade 3, and then he's. Didn't they think they did Jessica Alba to be the fucking. So Ryan Reynolds is Blade 3, which is, in this, you know, and then he's uh, yeah, and Green then he's Lantern. Yeah, Green Lantern. And now he's Daredevil. Not Daredevil, you shithead. He's fucking Deadpool, whatever yeah. the fuck. Same thing. Yeah. Pretty much. That's okay. Yeah, you know, the second one had its moments. Oh, you know Deadpool. He, he Deadpool. Didn't, he, didn't, he didn't invent that. I don't think so, no. No, no, no. But by then, he was mostly running the show. I don't think he was, like... I don't think he was actively involved with, like, the making but he of has, the comics. But, I mean, but, uh, until, the like... The only other uh, person I can think of 
um, just in the last 50, 100 years to yeah. invent as many memorable characters uh, as George Lucas. Maybe you could say Roddenberry. But I mean, char characters that people will not only That's know now, question. but people will but be we'll talking about Spider-Man for as long as there are people. Yeah. People will talk about uh, X-Men, Wolverine, for Dude, as long people, as... There people in fucking, like, the jungle know who Spider-Man is, <laughs> right? I mean, you can go to the Congo and find a fucking, uh, a fucking guy with an AK and Spider-Man shirt. He had that Shakespearean ability to get at whatever archetype but, you know this kind of, but he kind of invented the new archetype, the, the mutant, right? Right. The, well, the mutant, and uh, well, and, and, and the idea that if you are a mutant, you have a great responsibility to go with your great power. That is right. an amazing quote. With, with great, great power, power comes, comes great, great responsibility. responsibility. That, that is, is Shakespearean. Right. <laughs> I mean, that is mm -hmm. he. And what was funny is that when I was a kid, part of why I don't know some as much about him, as I was a DC guy, like the only. D, uh, Marvel shit I would read at all is Iron Man right? Uh, and Captain America. Because it seemed more real. Uh, yeah, because DC was just more right. real and they had better villains. Well, you know what's funny is that I, I had the same tack but I, took, I went a little different route. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come clean, man. Basically, the only comic I read actively was The Punisher. And probably for the same reasons that you uh, were in DC or in Iron Man, just it seemed... That could probably happen. Yeah, I mean, see that that to came the out, extreme, but when I, I was, was already, I think in my. Well, late you were already in your forties. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean you know, so Pun then, Punisher so. is a great character. Uh, the right. way that you know, Dread is, but I don't think Dread's Marvel. But no, Dread's eighty two thousand. Yeah, but those are British? there were some British. good characters out in the eighties. That no, I mean, I, I read the established by the time the eighties were over. Yeah, I think. Well, I, I mean, mean the I'm Punisher came comes. out of that, and the Punisher has legs. That stuck around because they were. Well, but, wait a minute though. But the Punisher was devised in the seventies because the Punisher was their dirty so hair. Stan Lee might have actually. He might have been involved with the Punisher yeah. because that That's was crazy, yeah. that was a response to Dirty Harry and Death Wish. It, Remember, yeah. this is in New York. So I mean, crime in the seventies in Europe went through but the roof. That's why you have escaped from New York. Do you think I'm overstating it when I say he's got, has Shakespearean level? No, I don't. Not, you know what's funny? No, I don't. In characters, no, I don't. In characters, I, yeah. The, and, I mean, the whatever stories, the writing is, I can't remember a single story other than Thanos. But it doesn't matter <laughs> because <laughs> the characters are so great. But the characters are fantastic, and they 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 fill archetypes and they they relate to people like people like that's why people like Spider Man because. It's Peter Parker. He's a student. He's trying to make his way. He's got these powers. And he's you know he's a goofy guy, and he's not he's not mythic. He's a dude, but that, right. I, I mean that's, that's kind of a good humanizing uh, element. Whereas Superman is just so DC is so lofty. Our culture is is much more liberal than it was when Stanley began writing these. Right, and arguably he's kind of the first mainstream person with alternate lifestyle. Characters because right. all of these people are freaks. Well, he certainly. I mean, they're definable. You're a freak. You can shoot a web out of your ass or whatever. You can turn into a stone or rock. Whatever. I mean, all this. I can turn into a rock. And shoot Whereas, webs. what now? Sorry. Superman's an alien. Batman right. is just an Olympic level insane person. Right. He's he's vigilante. He's, right. Right. In an Olympian. And Green body, Lanterns right? are. Gods. Are aliens. They're, they're alien but, but gods. But it's alien right. technology. It's not mutants. Right. They're not human beings. Right. I mean, other than Batman, he is a human being. Right. But. And that's part of why I think DC is better is their villains were better in part because a lot of them were just humans. Well, they're also, the villains tend to be, other than Lex Luthor, I suppose, very galactic scale. Like, they're, they're villains. You're talking about Marvel villains. Well, but DC villains, DC villains tend to be fair. They're the Joker. They're the Penguin. Well, no, the Joker. Joker the, is the. But greatest both of involved. those are Batman villains because no, Batman. But some of the Batman best Marvel villains are uh, Spider-Man villains. That's part of why he's one of the best characters. Is he has Green Goblin. He's got Green Without Goblin. Green Goblin, who's a human? Craven. Right, sorry, he is a human. I forgot that. He is. A, he's totally, he's totally yeah. human. Yeah, he's. But so he's that's, Osborn or whatever. Right? That's he was right, a scientist. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The Green Goblin is is a good character. Uh, you know what? From the fucking Raimi Spider-Man, he's not he's mutant at great. all. No, he's not, and the Green Goblin. He's just a scientist. I, I thought he got like some serum. Ah, right? I don't know. Well, that, wasn't that the, the serum was the fucking power, wasn't it? In the same way that fucking Captain America. But anyway, so anyway, so Stanley, yeah, kind of does break down barriers. Mm -hmm. Not even really intending to. I don't think he just but thought they were opinion. cool stories. I mean, but his you know. his insight into 
uh, particularly young people. You know, yes. Uh, so being different, being you know, when you're a teenager, you feel that way a lot. Even if you're no, you're just like everybody else, dumbass. You're exactly like everyone else. And it's two in the dark. You're like you're all stinky kids, right? <laughs> when you get no, I'm all by myself. And Stanley could get at that and these characters and really kind of address so that well. And, and yeah. yet, he also did have more mature characters, which is why a Marvel movie is like the old Star Wars movies, and that they can appeal to an eight year old to an eighty year old. And the reason why is Stan Lee's characters. Yeah, right. I, I yeah. How can there's I, something not there something for there's something with, there for everybody, right? Yeah, no, it's totally, and it, it's very universal, and that's that's a talent, man. Yeah, he. he I mean, I true, can't uh, a true talent. Now, I don't know. I don't think he had a lot to do with the movies. Let me put. You, I know they let him be in the right, movies. Right. I, I, I think I actually there had to be a little bit of legal action. Probably. To me. Yeah, and you know, because once those things started popping off, they're like, but, but here you go. I mean, I need some scratch. Here, here's the best compliment, right? Here's here's what you could say. Earl? You could say that Stan Lee yes. was so big that people who have no idea what comics are. Or have never read a comic. I've never read a comic. Know who Stan yeah. Lee is. He's that big. He's that big, right? He 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 transcended his medium in such a way that he's so big that he's almost a bigger death than Burt Reynolds. Because Burt Reynolds yeah, is a bigger dad. Because Burt Reynolds, Burt Reynolds is just a more... Like, yeah. He was a movie star, not just a he, guy behind the movie Right, star. he was a movie star. And then the is Stan it? Lee is, is sort of... Now, I, long can term, I have a fucking beer? Now, the long term, though, uh, Stan Lee is way more important. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, very much. Like, already right now, he's yeah. more important. Just the oh, death is, is bigger he, to our generation. Just, or like, that's not a knock on Burt Reynolds. Please don't take it that way. That's not a knock on Burt Reynolds. I mean, that's an acknowledgement. That's more of a compliment to Stan Lee than it is a burn on fucking burn. All right, so, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's have a drink to Stan Lee, one of the... Oh, let's do it here. You hold that great, hold um, great American writer. Great American um, writer. Great, as story, as story, can, great American storyteller. And right? I never heard a bad word about the guy. And we, one of our good friends is Dennis Barter. He owns uh, Wonder World Comics. He's yeah. a mo- movie producer. Toy Agent to the store. Right. And stars. Oh, I mean, he's, nice. you know, he's kind of a guy. I think yeah, I think he had his own show on one of those damn basic yeah, <laughs> networks or whatever. Cool. Um, he, he was like, "Oh, Stan's great. He's, he's the best guy you'll ever meet." And, all this. and well, our our buddy Crow, a guy who does all our special effects, has got a picture. He posted of, that picture. That was a, that was a cool picture. When he was man. like 10, 12 years old, yeah. and Stan Lee's already sixty or something, right? But a but total still, nice guy. That, that I, I think that is one thing you could say about him, other than. Um, wow, he has all this talent, and you know, and boy, mm-hmm. he's making a lot of money and all this. But unlike most of those people, he's not shit at. Yeah, he, he appreciated the fans. Like, wow, he this is great. Really I'm so believed, glad these guys are into he it. He believed with great power comes great responsibility, and mm-hmm. actually, kind of lived that way. And boy, how rare is that to be Man, that walk, talented, walk. that successful, that impactful, and also a good guy. So here's to Stanley. Here's Stanley. One Bob. of the greatest. Uh, there'll never be another one. Oh yeah. Rest in peace, Dan. Rest in peace, Dan. All right, man. So okay, so that was a uh, pretty classy f- uh, for us. Hey, ready to go, Lammy Nipple Chaps? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm right. Okay. Uh, so let's real quick talk some uh, Thanksgiving movies. Creed two and Robin Hood come okay. out um, in about two days. Seriously, we'll really? Shoot. It's Friday when we shoot this, and right. Uh, I think they come out Tuesday. Creed two does come out Tuesday. Oh, sure. It does. Okay, all right. Uh, so Creed two oh, is about Rocky twenty. No, I think it is Rocky. Seven. I believe you. All right. I think it's the seven because you have the five Rockies, then you have Creed one, and this is Creed two. So this is the seventh movie. Rocky, Rocky six, the quest for. Now peace. I will tell you, anytime there is a Rocky movie on, I immediately no send the kids to bed. Well, no, Rocky four's on. Come on, Rocky four's on. All that stuff hey, in come my on. house. Come on, Paulie. Hey. Uh, yeah, they're all great except for Rocky five. Train wreck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that with Tommy Gunn? Yeah. Tommy, yeah. People just trying to forget it uh, ever exists. I enjoyed Creed. I did. I think Stallone needed one more rewrite on that script. They did not give the kid who is, I think he's supposed to be a heavyweight or a light heavyweight. Yeah. Um, he's just not big enough. And they have they don't give a reason why he can pull a Rocky-like win, like he has a devastating uppercut or something. Well, they, they don't give him a gimmick. Do they go into his motivation? I mean, yeah, the motivation really... is all that, but he's just such a skinny kid. He's just... You can just see he's an actor that got cast. <laughs> you too, Tony. Because he was an actor. Right, he's not, not the athlete 
that um, that Stallone was that Stallone and was that Weathers. Dolph Lundgren it that Weathers. Carl Fuck Weathers Carl Weathers, Carl Weathers was an all was pro defensive yeah, back I mean, yeah. look at him in Predator he's, I mean, he's an amazing amazing athlete right and he's more tore up than the Julius Salad in Rocky 1 when Stallone's kind of flabby that's true you know well, I mean, he fucking, he this, the eye of the tiger man edge great uh, dude Carl Weathers is great <laughs> just a quick aside uh, Carl Weathers dude so, the entire, if, uh, so if you're young, you probably don't remember what a huge impact Rocky had. Yeah, it was a it was a Star what Wars movies, Star dude. Wars level impact almost. It single handedly kicked off the physical fitness craze in the United States that has never ever really since stopped. No, it just it, it ebbs and flows like like trends come and go. But but for since that film. Oh, there has been a sect of our society, a very big, that is yeah. huge in the physical fitness. Do you need to find a gym? That simply did not exist before Rocky. All the right. inspirational movies from Rudy to Rocky. All the way through. Giant cultural impact. And so it's cool to me that Sylvester Stallone, as an actor or writer, because he wrote Rocky and he directed two, three, four, I don't know if he did five... Um, that that this super talented man again, like Stan Lee, that everybody loves, is you know pretty good guy. You, you, and, you and gotta he, go far and wide to and find people that hate Stallone. And he's still relevant, unlike almost every other filmmaker from his generation, including yeah. Spielberg, including Spielberg, yeah, and actor. And that includes Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. who does not do movies at all that I know of. Right. The last movie I watched was that zombie movie that he was in. That was okay. Yeah. But right? I mean, but that's right. it. His his career yeah, is his, over. As a, yeah, and, and people kind of don't Whereas Sylvester him. Stallone they is going him. to be in maybe the biggest movie of the Thanksgiving weekend 2018. Yeah. A movie he produced. That is super yeah. cool. And wrote and stars in it. Right. Come that's, on, man. That's, that's pretty. I mean, dude. Fucking there, Stallone, man, yeah, Renaissance there, fucking Hollywood. There he's, is something. Dude, Stallone is old Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. He is, I mean, he he's is the, the old Harry ind- Grant. He's the independent filmmaker in the Hollywood system, which did exist that's, in the 70s, and that's gone now, except, right, except for, for maybe maybe him and Eastwood. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, Eastwood. Eastwood is the only other person, but just Eastwood's so much older that he can't really be in the movies at all. Right. Well, dude, he should have. No, he, I, I know. Movie. I, I know. He is, though. I, um,. Anyway, but I'm they're sorry. not really of the same generation because Clint got started. No, no, they, they, they were like they're like because by the time Stallone got to start, fucking Eastwood was already doing his like third dirty okay, Harry so, movie. So. so, but anyway, and and, and then this one, it's got Ivan Drago's kid. And Rocky IV is such a great film. It's oh it's God, just it's, it's pure movie. cinema. The script is only like forty pages. Hang on, you, hang on. Have you ever seen the script hang for Rocky IV? Hang on. It's forty page script. Whatever he hits, it destroys. He destroys. Oh yeah. <laughs> he needs to drop that on WDF. Oh, yeah. <laughs> whatever. He Aaron Ward. I fucking hate right. Was a defenseman here. <laughs> whatever he hits, it he destroys. destroys. <laughs> this is good gag. I just so many good right. visual. Right. Ivan Drago, such a hilarious no, character. Hey, hey, I'm gonna... And and wait a minute. Wait. Russia's in the news. Yo, Russia Gate and blah blah. Right. Even if you think it's silly. It's still in the news. It's something relevant. Somehow, somehow Stallone, even now, knows what's relevant. He knows what can hit. Yeah, and, I guess know, he does, doesn't And he? now the guy, the kid who's playing Creed, who was a good actor, is more... He's huge now. He's all Now he looks like a light Yeah, heavy. yeah, no, okay. Before, yeah, he was just not physically well, dead. Well, kind of like Stallone. But now they're showing him, right? you know, right. now they're showing him really going. Right. Yeah. And Dolph Lundgren is in it. Come uh, on, man. So for me, Creed... That uh, too looks it's like hell yeah I'll give that ten bucks. Okay. The other movie coming out is Robin Hood with Eggsy. I have no idea what it's really. I, I don't know. Eggsy. <laughs> he oh, was Eggsy. in Kingsman. Uh, yeah. And Jamie Fox. All right. It's been a long time, man, since I can tell you. Yes, I'm gonna go see this movie on Thanksgiving. Yeah. On the Thanksgiving weekend. Shh, um, what the hell did I see last? And, and not only that, but it's this. It's a big franchise movie. Franchise movies, other than Stan Lee movies. Dead. Star yeah. Wars is dead. Ghostbusters is dead. It's suicide. Yeah, they're all suicide, dead. Suicide, dude. Na- name me, name me a franchise. Up. Nope. We'll do it. So, hey, yeah, I want to go see Creed too. I'm excited right. to go see Creed too. Yeah, I'm gonna watch all the Rocky movies. <laughs> but just go see Creed too. Yeah, I do kind of. Because there's that. nothing yeah. else from yeah. your childhood that is left, Jason. Nothing. nothing. It's all gone. Batman, like gone. Superman, gone. I mean, anything that was a fragile is gone. Yeah. Alien, alien. They gone. fucking oh, ruined Alien. Forever. 
Far from I'm in. After aliens. Like, you're like, oh, man, aliens, man. You, you can really make a great file. All right, so anyway, uh, I go yeah. see Creed 2 if okay. you at all have any interest in uh, old school kind of movies. And, if and you, Robin Hood, if, if you, you want to see something new. Check I it out just for Exy. And Hopefully. here is to you, Stan. Stan Lee. Stan the man, the man of a million characters. Fucking R.I.P., dude. R.I.P. Rest in peace. Go see uh, you at the movies. Love each other and... It's all the drugs. Because you're fucking old. You're old. I just sit there and go, everything hurts all the time. Everything hurts. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> Take off all of your friends. Michael? Don't throw your hands. If you think you're not alone. You're not, 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 not alone. If you think you've had too much mm -hmm. of this life, carry on. Sometimes. <laughs> Be sure to visit EvilGeniusEntertainment.com for exclusive content, swag, casting call news, and much, much more.